morning, guys. Welcome back to another week in my life in New York. Lately, I haven't been able to sleep more than seven hours. Honestly, it's a good thing because I just wake up whenever the sun shines in my room and I prefer it that way. Try to stay off my phone and get some sunlight in. I've definitely noticed a significant difference in how calm I feel after staying off my phone. I don't feel less anxious and I highly recommend implementing this into your routine along with chugging a bunch of water. That is the best advice I have. Good morning, I just changed into this new little aloe dress. I'm about to go work out. Basically in the mornings I like to boil a big pitcher of water because my family, we just drink boiled water. I don't know if it's an Asian thing. And I like to take some supplements in the morning. I've actually been a fan of Ritual for a long time. These are the Symbiotic Plus. They're prebiotic, probiotic, and they're just so good for your digestion. You can eat it with a meal or without. I like to do it in the morning just to get it over with and like chug a glass of water. I'm just gonna take one because that's all you really need. And I love this one the most because it tastes like peppermint. So it's like starting your morning with fresh breath but not having to chew gum i want to thank ritual so much for sponsoring this video it's a classic week in my life but it's really important to prioritize self-care health care and your wellness it's just helped me so much with my bloating and gas because of its strains of probiotics if you've also watched my previous week in the life you know that i've been trying to be a supplement girly and i've been taking these and if you've never taken gut supplements before these are just so beneficial for your health for when you're traveling bloating your diet's off and you just kind of like need to reset this really puts you back on track but yeah this is just so amazing because of the three in one and the prebiotic if you don't know is to support the growth of healthy bacteria and then postbiotic is to support gut barrier function it's so easy to store i just put it in my cabinet you don't need to put it in the fridge you just take one a day and since it's subscription based you just will never run out so even though i'm already halfway through my woman's vitamins i take these daily and i've just noticed a significant difference like i'm trying to get in shape for summer <laughs> And yeah, I just feel like way less bloated. But yeah, if you guys are interested, if you don't like your order within the first 30 days, don't worry, no commitment. It'll be on them. So order and use my code isbosung25 for 25% off. And let's move on with the rest of the video. obsessed with making steak and eggs and i wanted to make chimichurri but with the blender instead because sometimes i don't have enough time to mince all the ingredients the consistency wasn't my favorite but paired with the steak so nicely i just get a ribeye steak from whole foods and then i make a little bit of avocado toast olive oil onions lemon juice salt and pepper and it's delish When shopping for groceries, I always make sure to get ingredients that overlap in recipes. So I got some edamame and carrots to make a little salad for later in the week. And I can't forget these popsicle bars. You have to get them if you go to Trader Joe's. You won't regret it. So refreshing for summer. Hey, hey, hey. I just got back from the grocery store. So we're gonna do a bunch of meal prep. And the reason why I like to do meal prep is because during the week, if I don't have time, everything's done. And all my groceries cost me $130 and I can make 14 meals out of them because it's for me and another person. I honestly look forward to this part during the week the most where I can just like stock up my fridge, get healthy, feel super good about what I'm putting into my body. I 
just coated my cod in my marinade and I basically boiled mirin and sake on high then turned it to low and added sugar and miso. So, so easy. We're gonna put it in the fridge and uncover it in about two or three days. Fish has been marinated. Now that all my hot girl cooking is done, I'm gonna meet my friends for drinks because my bestie just got engaged, which is insane. This is the dress I'm wearing. It's like this beautiful dress that I just got in the mail and it's kind of sheer on the bottom, but I like to wear like black micro shorts under. It's from With Sheen, it's their new collection. Ta-da! This is the dress and I'm wearing it with this beautiful gold bag. Hi, sister! Hi! Oh, wait, wait, show me your hand. Oh my god! This is, this is our sex in the city. <laughs> what happened last night? Hey, make this watermelon coconut cream smoothie and it's so good literally the best combination my friend angelica posted it on her story one day and i was like i'm gonna make that so we're gonna put it all into the blender i was that woman at the grocery store that was tapping on all the watermelons and guess what i got a bomb one that's 90 percent melon and 10 percent water because that's what we want and i think when it's like too hollow it means that there's more liquid so the denser it is the more fruit you get, if I recall correctly. But there was another Asian lady that was like, a Whole Foods. So you and I both. Coconut cream, not the milk. Whenever it gets warmer, I always, my food just gets more colorful. So we're gonna blend this up and I'll be back. Ta-da! Watermelon coconut cream smoothie. Someone finished theirs before I even <laughs> took like three sips. This is a sign to make it. One thing about me is that I am a bedhead queen. So whenever I have baby hairs to hang out, I just slick them back and go about my day. I just feel so much more sleek and refreshed, ready to get some work done. You know the vibes. I got an ice strawberry matcha with the strawberry. It's too sweet sometimes.
Karaage is so good. There's like chives and Brussels sprouts. It's like balanced and yummy. Also the purple rice. Delish. I got the salmon one. So it's my favorite. And it's also like this yuzu dressing. So good. Also. Like 10. I don't think that cup is... Is this right? Do you think this looks like You can talk it to your to your liking woman. How's this? Yeah, does it smell good? All fine? Oh, it smells fine. Yum, delicious. Easier once you get the hang of it. This is what it's like being a sushi chef. <laughs> Man, your ratio just makes sense. Mine. <laughs> no, yours looks so good. Yeah, but mine's like two. Yours fits three perfectly. You fish out. All I'm gonna do is turn on my oven and you broil it for 10 minutes and just keep an eye on it. But I can't have all the marinade on the fish, I have to wipe it off, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna do that and then show you the fish. While it's in the broiler, I'm gonna make a very simple edamame carrot ponzu salad on the side. Ta-da! Now we're gonna put it in the broiler. These are ready to eat, so it's fine. Spring mix makes more sense with this, but I only have romaine at the moment. So we're just gonna use that and then chop up all the ingredients. Yeah, basically, I kind of just like to um, shred them directly and then you get like little swirls. Ta-da! And then I just add edamame and salt on it. Ooh, actually, some avocado would be so delish. How authentic is this? Made this shit up, so don't follow me. Okay, prepare to be mind blown by this hack <laughs> when I was scrolling on IG. Why am I the last person to know this? If you just cut your avocado, not in half, you cut it into quarters. You have four perfect avocado sections and it is so much easier to peel this way. And the best part is, instead of hacking your knife into the pit, you just separate it open and then you just take the pit out. So easy. Our final step is literally just going to be a bottle of ponzu and olive oil and a little bit of lemon juice if you'd like because this is already citrusy so there's technically no need. This is my very healthy dinner. It, it tastes really good. It's not the most beautiful but it's delicious. Very few things this New Yorker loves as much as Sunday brunch.
I've been having like a really slow and chill morning, so I thought I'd walk you through what I want to do routinely to kind of like check in on myself. I feel like it's easy to have really negative dialogue about yourself and like how you're doing, especially like as a young woman in your 20s. So I feel like when I'm silent and by myself in the morning, my mind won't stop running and I'm just gonna do this and like play some music so I can basically tell my mind to shut the fuck up because you're doing amazing, I'm doing amazing, you're beautiful, I'm beautiful, period. Nobody can tell you otherwise. Um, but I've been listening to this girl. <laughs> she's called The Wizard Liz. You've probably seen her YouTube. She's she's literally huge, but she's so funny. She actually makes me laugh. She just keeps it real with, with, with everybody. But anyway, I'm like trying to find like the stickiest thing I can use to gua sha. And this is from my friend, Ava. This is like her gua sha design. There's little hearts on it, which is super on brand with me. But you can actually use this on your body. So she came out with like a collagen massaging body cream. I like watch her stories all the time and how she does it, but you just use this to like massage different parts of your face. That feels so nice. And I'm gonna just do that. But we're having a really slow morning and I don't know. I've been honestly really content with how things have been going in my life. I'm really happy with the friends that I have and how I spend my time with people. Okay, I'm gonna use this to tightening serum. Like, yeah, period. I feel like this makes sense. This feels really nice, okay. And then I think you're supposed to go, when you gua sha, you're supposed to actually like end it here. Being in your 20s is really interesting because there's so many things that you wanna do and it feels like you have so little time. At least this is how I feel my shoes. But at the same time, like everyone is such a different place in their life and nobody is going too fast and nobody is going too slow. Everyone is at their perfect pace and I, I'm like a huge believer in divine timing. Pretty much just finished getting ready and I've been craving some yogurt. I'm gonna make a little yogurt bowl and I just bought some fresh mangoes from Whole Foods. So we're gonna do that and assemble it. And yeah, today I'm just kind of like tidying up and fixing up my place. product and we can add a little bit of honey. It honestly doesn't need it because mango is sweet enough, but we'll just do a drizzle because I like the texture. And this is just like a morning snack to suffice. This did not need to take so long for me to film. It took me like two minutes. It took me like almost 20 just to film it. Ah. Oh my god, it's so sweet. It tastes like um, like a dessert. <laughs> 